Hey, it's been a while since I did one of these sit down videos where I talk about my thoughts, introspections, lessons learned throughout my structural engineering career. And today I'm going to be talking about and answering the question, is a career in structural engineering worth it? And this is coming from me, a structural engineer in California. And with my internship and work experience, I'm basically at 10 years. And I've been with my past company for the past nine. So there's some bias built into there, which I'll discuss later. And if you're not too sure what structural engineers are, they're the engineers that design the building's muscular and skeletal systems. So they stand up and don't fall down during heavy winds or earthquakes. So is a career in structural engineering worth it? Short answer is yes, but with a caveat. It's worth it if you find the work fulfilling. But Matt, what about the work? What about the pay? What about the long hours? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Yes, I'll get into that in a bit. So what do I mean by fulfillment? Contribution to people plus achievement equals fulfillment. And a career in structural engineering has given me that, using our engineering skills to design the world's structures, such as skyscrapers, people's homes, hospitals, police stations, schools and cities. All of that is responsible for the health, wealth, and security of your nation. Talk about important. And you engineer your structures so they withstand natural disasters, earthquakes, heavy windstorms, with the least amount of building materials, by the way. And you get to see and you get to point to your building that's helping the community out, that's now a part of the permanent built environment that's going to be there for the next century. Yeah, I'd call that an engineering achievement. And fulfillment is different than happiness. For me, happiness is temporary. It's fleeting. Oh, I got a new car, I got some new clothes, I got a bonus at work. That's all great, but it's temporary. To me, that's similar to eating a bunch of chocolate. I love eating chocolate, but even though I eat a lot, I'm still hungry after. It's not filling. Comparing that to a career that is fulfilling, for me, that's eating a chicken veggie bowl. If you know me, you know I hate, I heavily dislike vegetables. Don't know why I was probably attacked by a cabbage when I was a kid. So eating the veggies I dislike, just like some parts of my job, just like any job, but for the most part, I love the stuff that I do. I love eating the rice, I love eating the chicken. It's fulfilling and I'm full after. And it's better for my health in the long run. It's fulfilling. It's a fulfilling career. When students think of going into the structural engineering industry, they usually think of the private consulting firms. If you want to design buildings, which you probably want to do, yeah, you usually work for those types of companies, but there's still a lot of career path options out there that many structural engineering students might not know about. And these alternate career paths often pay more and provide a better work-life balance than the private consulting side. First, the private consulting firms, the pros and cons. And my experience right now has been with a private consulting firm. Some of the typical cons and complaints that you might hear from the structural engineering community with these private consulting firms is that you probably aren't feeling that you're paid enough compared to the work that you do. And in private consulting firms, I often find that that industry is probably the least paid in terms of structural engineering. There's a lot of career paths in structural engineering that typically pay more than this type. I think it's because of supply and demand, just because everybody wants to work with designing buildings, you probably don't get paid as much as these other structural engineering career alternatives. Another one is high stress and heavy deadlines. It's a deadline-based industry, so that's expected. Hopefully you're not working for a firm that regularly has you work 80 hours a week where you have no life. They still might exist, but know that there's firms out there that don't have you working that much and you can work reasonable hours, let's say 40. Let's get into the pros of working for a private consulting firm. The first one is you get to work on cool projects. You're designing buildings, that's what you wanted to do. You're designing things that get built in the environment that you can point to and say, I designed that. Another one that I really like is that you're always learning something new, especially if you work at a firm that has you work on different types of building materials, different types of projects. You're not doing the same one every single time. To me, that's really engaging because I like learning that type of stuff. And the next pro is that it builds confidence. You get to see a project, how it comes together from the beginning all the way to 
the end until it's built. You get to see the whole entire process. You become more confident in your design structural engineering skills. And the other pro is that you'll probably get to develop people skills as well. You'll be working with different types of personalities, different types of professions, architects, contractors, other engineers, and those people skills will get you far in your profession, in your career, because it's so transferable and you're pretty much always going to be dealing with people some way or another. Okay, so those are the pros and the cons. But let's talk about what I think is the most important one, the, the X factor of private consulting firms. This is where all the people in the Reddit forums that hate structural engineering and they had a bad experience and they crap on the profession. It's because of this X factor. The X factor is the people, the bosses, the coworkers that you work with. Yeah, your mileage may vary from really bad to really good, phenomenal. And people often ask me, they're surprised that I've been with my company for the past nine years. Why are you still with your company? You know, you can go anywhere, right? That you can get paid a lot more, you'll, you'll make a lot more money. And I'm like, yeah, I know I can pretty much go wherever I want. I've worked on all sorts of different projects. I have all sorts of experience. I have engineering experience, management experience. Hell, I even have my SE license and I'm a professional YouTuber as well, by the way. And yeah, I have been presented some opportunities that do pay more, maybe even twice as much as I'm making now. But I stay for a few things. First, the huge one, it's definitely the X factor. The, the bosses, my managers, the people that I work with, my coworkers, they've supported me and continue to support me throughout my career. They treat me well and they're fun to be around. And second, I'm still learning a lot in my position. I like how my role has evolved, getting really good technically and then getting more into the management and the people aspect of things. Overall, it's fun because I'm still learning a lot of things. It's made me a better engineer and it's made me a better person. I know it sounds a little corny, but it's true. People don't wanna work with you if you're a crappy person to work with. And my projects are still great, interesting, and fulfilling. For example, I've worked on some buildings at UC San Diego, my alma mater. I earned my master's degree there, so going back to campus to design these buildings after all of these years, that school teaching me structural engineering, designing these buildings a couple years later, seeing it come full circle, it's one of the most fulfilling things that I've done in my career, giving back and contributing back to the campus that's provided me with my education. It's so unbelievably cool and pays a big part as well, don't get me wrong, and I'm fairly satisfied with it, but everyone's circumstance is different. I'm able to support my lifestyle comfortably as a single dude, but if you're a dad that has five wives and 12 kids, you might have a different circumstance. So if that's the case and the private consulting firm environment isn't right for you, there are other structural engineering career paths that you can take. They may pay more, they may have better work-life balance, it depends, but there's these options that you can explore. Let's say you want to get paid more. You can look into, for example, government jobs that require structural engineers. You can work on the real estate developer side, work as their owner's rep, their structural engineer, but on the owner's side. And if you want that big tech money, Guess what? Tech companies are hiring their own in-house engineers as well. For example, Tesla needs structural engineers to build out their Gigafactory. Amazon wants structural engineers to build out their data centers and they pay tech company salaries. Don't be surprised if you're getting paid in the $200,000 range. And if you want something maybe less stressful, less deadline heavy, maybe you could look at maybe manufacturing firms or government jobs or specialty structural engineering companies. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure those positions, there's gonna be some positions that are still gonna be just as stressful and deadline heavy, but they're different career path options. They have different job descriptions. Check those out. They're different than the private consulting design firms. If you don't like being in the office all day and you'd like to get paid more as well, you can look into being a construction engineer, go to work for a construction company. And if you really like programming, you can combine that with your structural engineering skills and go look at structural software engineering firms. And if you're so inclined, you could even be a real estate developer since you're so entrenched in that industry already. The point is, if you find any of this type of work fulfilling, 
it's worth it to pursue a career in structural engineering. Because even if the private consulting firm doesn't work out for you, there's still a lot of structural engineering paths, careers that you can take. You'll be fine. You'll be a problem solver and the world needs problem solvers. So you could take your skills even outside of the structural engineering industry. I mean, you're a freaking structural engineer. You design humanity's tallest and biggest structures. You design bridges that connect the world together. Your designs are literally fighting mother nature and its natural disasters, and you're protecting people and their homes and their businesses against it. Your structures are responsible for the health, wealth, and security of your nation. You preserve the past with your retrofits and you build the future with your designs. The work is important, you are important, and of course the work is hard, but it's work worth doing.